Welcome back. You're still watching VIP Access with me, Lisa. Born from the creative vision of director Zack Snyder, Sucker Punch is the first of his films to not have been based on or adapted from any other work. Known for helming visually stunning epics such as 300 and Watchmen, Sucker Punch follows Snyder's trademark of washed out colors, slow motion, and sudden fast forwards, which may help when he takes the reins of 2012 Superman, Man of Steel. Begin your journey. It will set you free. We're battling the fear in ourselves in order to help Baby Doll's plan for all of us to escape. The mission is to decimate what is holding them back so that they can be triumphant. The world of Sucker Punch is a stylized world. Zach's so visual. Things are so rich and so vibrant. His knowledge of film and contribution to pop culture with Watchmen and 300 is extensive. We really do know when a film is Zack Snyder film. There's so many intricate levels. It's exciting, there's action, there's adventure, it's sexy, it's funny. And there's so many twists and turns that you do not know what to expect. People are just gonna be constantly taking hits to the face. All of that is delivered to the audience in the form of a sucker punch. We return to the reality-bending storyline after the break. But first up, let's head over to The Scoop, where we join our international correspondent, Stevie Wong, as he investigates what mysterious forces are keeping Emily Blunt and Matt Damon apart in the Adjustment Bureau. What is this? The tone was so unique, it was like I I'd never seen a movie do what this one was, was trying to do. And I, and I said that to George, to the writer-director. I said, this is a really ambitious movie because it's not a romance and it's not a thriller. It's both of them kind of mashed up. And he said, yeah, well, that's why that's why I want to do it. I want to take a big swing. If you stay with her, it not only kills your dreams, it kills her. It was like six days a week and every day in the dance studio, every day in the gym, dieting the whole caboodle. It was a lot. and But I had to very quickly get into that kind of shape, so it was full on. We are the people who make sure things happen according to plan. We monitor the entire world. Oh. Well, it was something that I, it gave me a little pause. I thought, well, really, I'm gonna play another guy in a suit? But you know, then I looked at the character and it's different, it's subtly different. Your path through the world is supposed to have been adjusted. You were never supposed to see her again. It's a great date. I'll put it that way. If a dude goes with a chick, she'll like the movie, and he won't have to be subjected to some awful love story. I'm coming with you. Okay. Call the intervention team. Tell them it's a square one reset. Just remember, we tried to reason with you. From Unseen Forces, we move on to Alien Invasion to find out how a Marine platoon faces off against an alien attack in Los Angeles. It's interesting because a lot of people kind of uh, have been waiting for me to be in this kind of film. I don't think it's gonna be overly, you know, too much of a surprise, but I do feel very much at home in a film like this, you know, because it's got qualities that I like. He's a he's an old salty marine. He's it's heroic. There's he's a good leader, but he's also very flawed. And he's got his demons. Wait! Kids! We had the luxury of actually shooting on top of a highway and made into an entire set with the explosions and the burnt out cars and the bus and, and tanks and everything like that. So we had a lot of physical things to work off of. Everyone needs to get out of here right now. Lucas, if you could just come back for yourself. Oh my God. We all got bumps and bruises. You know, I ended up chipping a tooth. That was probably the worst of it. But you know, I definitely my knees, elbows, I mean backs. It was just tough. We're here now. It's a good action movie. I'm like, it's, you know, from beginning to end, there's like action, 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 which is cool. I mean, the, the script was like that, and uh, I think it turned out better than I thought it would turn out. Because it's so beautiful in Los Angeles, the weather is always so awesome. 
you know, everyone's so hunky-dory, it's kind of cool to destroy it every now and then, you know? <laughs> See what the other side's like. What the hell is that thing? Oh my god. I thought I told you to go to bed! Still on the subject of aliens, albeit in the form of an animation, it's time for the Martians to visit Earth to look for moms. Mom? Mom? What was it about the script that kind of made you, uh, I don't know, did, did you feel attached to it in, in, in that sense? I think both of us being moms, you know, certainly has a, a connection. I think the art of, you know, this uh, performance capture was incredibly inviting. Milo? Is that broccoli? No, that's vomit, but I understand the confusion. I told you to eat that. Well, you're not going to make me eat it now, are you? One of the things that's wonderful about the motion capture process is because the actors are physically there, they're physically interacting, they're feeding on each other's energies. You, you really get to use their personalities. Their personalities are the characters. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Welcome to Mars. The fact is, Mars needs moms. There's not a lot of downtime, and uh, you, yeah, you gotta you know, keep the energy up. And, and uh, but it's, I don't know, I love that stuff. But if you come from theater, it's, that's, that's what it is. Right on! We gotta beat feet! What is she talking about? Simon and Wendy had such a vision, and this was their, this was their baby. Their baby. They like, are parents. They have yeah. children. They brought them to set yeah. kids in the movie, so they had a more intimate relationship with a story like this than I think the director who was an parent. I'm just trying to find my mom. She's the one that feeds me. She vacuums the house. Come on. It's nice to be reminded that you know the Disney Corporation cares about it and is gonna support moms and you get to go see this great adventure and then at the end of it you feel good. Mars needs moms. <laughs> when you're going to shoot a laser at someone, you should bring them and change them underwear! Reuniting with his Pirates of the Caribbean star Johnny Depp, Rango is director Gore Verbinski's first foray into animation. Ow! After developed relationships with animators on uh, the pirate movies, it's time to kind of put together a very small team and, and to say, let's go, let's go do this. Let's make an animated film. Oh. Ah! Stop moving! <gasps> Try not to look conspicuous. <laughs> it was something that Gore and I talked about early on. What I, what I liked about the character was the idea that here's this lizard who's an actor. Who exactly are you? Names. Rango. It's certainly nothing I've ever done before, any of us have ever done before. Ah! Open the door! I had to learn a southern accent, and Gore had a very specific way he wanted it to sound. He didn't want it to be a pretty accent, he wanted it to sort of be a um, rough accent. So um, I worked with a dialect coach. That's a funny looking shirt. It's a funny looking dress. You got funny looking eyes. You got a funny looking face! In this movie, we filmed it like a play, and we acted out the scenes, and we had guns, and and it was just a lot of fun. Spicy. You are eating his ashes. Oh, uh, you carry his remains? No, his ashes. He loved to smoke. In 20 days, we recorded all the audio. So that was really pursuing something that was kind of raw and real and authentic kind of reactions. I think it just gives a bunch of grown-ups an opportunity to be silly. Yeah. I think it's a number two. <laughs> Remember to log on to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash starmovies VIP access and you stand a chance to win some pretty cool Rango movie merchandise. While you're at it, you might as well also check out more interviews for the movies mentioned earlier. It's time now for a quick little break, but do not touch that remote because I'll be back with five ass-kicking ladies. Uh -huh.